One of my first memories of life in the West, <clears throat> after escaping from Hungary during the revolution in 1956, was riding the Wiener Riesenstadt, which is the giant Ferris wheel in Vienna. Now that Ferris wheel was built in 1897, but when I rode it in 1956, it was the largest Ferris wheel in existence. And I think it is because of that memory that I've always loved the movie, The Third Man, because one of the classic scenes in that film takes place in Vienna's giant Ferris wheel. And it's a confrontation between the uh, film's uh, hero, uh, Holly Martins, and uh, the racketeer, uh, Harry Lime. And it's a very interesting story. And it's all about racketeering in fake drugs. In uh, 1941, penicillin had been introduced. It really was the world's first uh, miracle drug because it was so adept at treating bacterial infections. And uh, after the war, it was uh, not available to the general public with any great ease, because uh, all of the production had gone to the war effort and treating wounded soldiers uh, at the time. So there was uh, a lot of uh, black market penicillin in Europe at that time, and particularly in Vienna, and that's what the story is all about. However, this uh, story uh, has uh, roots in modern times as well. How so? Because today, the problem of fake drugs is much, much greater than it was back in 1940s, when this movie is set. The movie is actually set in 1946, but it was uh, released in 1949. It actually starred Orson Welles in one of his famous uh, roles. Well, today, fake drugs are all over the place. In the developing world, it is estimated that one-third of all drugs used are fake. And even in, uh, in the West today, uh, if you go online to these pharmacies, there's a good chance that you're going to be getting something that isn't legitimate, either an outdated drug or, in fact, a medication that contains no active ingredient at all or the wrong dosage. And uh, so it is very difficult to know what to trust when you're ordering uh, online. So uh, I would suggest watching The Third Man, not only because it really is a fine film, uh, but because I, I think uh, it can introduce you to the problem of fake drugs, something that many people are not aware of today. And I think also it will introduce some of the younger people out there to the notion that good movies were made uh, even way back in the 1940s. And just because a movie is black and white, don't dismiss it. So I certainly would recommend watching The Third Man and learning all about the story of fake drugs. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.